Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man. And now what we're looking at on this presser bar assembly is how to get out of trouble after you've got yourself in trouble by adjusting this screw right here. Because it's just a very tempting screw to get at. And of course, I always tell folks when you're adjusting screws, the first thing you want to do is get the right screwdriver for the task. This one is not the right screwdriver. See how it's smaller than the slot. So all you're going to do is either bend this or distort that. So that's not going to be good. Now it's a recess screw, so you can't get one that's wider than the recess. See, it won't fit down in there. It won't make contact with it, maybe barely, but you'll tear up the screw trying to get this in there. So look around amongst your screwdriver set and make sure you have plenty of them if you're going to work on sewing machines, because I have about, oh, I would say roughly 100 different screwdrivers in my shop. Some are, you know, duplicates but here's one that's exactly the right size and it fits exactly in there and then you push it all the way in and you break it loose and you tighten it down that's critical that you have the right screwdriver otherwise you're going to frustrate yourself and then mess up your screw and then the next guy who gets it which will be me and you'll say here i tried and i failed see what you can do and i'll well i'll see if i can get out there and put another screw in because that one's trash or cut another groove in or something like that anyhow but avoid doing that by using the right screwdriver for the screw now this sets your presser bar alignment see it has to be aligned so that it's perfectly parallel down here it has to be perfectly parallel and the needle will be in the center and won't hit on either side of the presser foot so that has to be aligned and a lot of times what happens when you start monkeying with this screw is that you'll get it out of sorts and you'll get it uh, slid up or slid down so when your presser foot comes down, it won't make contact. It won't feed the fabric, even though it's down. Because when you're setting the height of this presser bar, the feeders, let's lift up the presser foot and show you the feeders. The feeders have to be out of the activity. The feeders have to be below the needle plate. If they're above the needle plate and you set the feeders to the height, or you set the presser bar, uh, presser foot, presser bar mechanism to the height of the feeders, then when you start sewing, the feeders will drop down and you'll have that gap in between of about, I don't know, where's my, where's my trusty steel ruler, steel ruler that I had here? I was gonna show the uh, gap between there, about the, about the height of the fe feeders, they'll come up, you'll have, you'll have a gap about that high, which is a couple millimeters, and then your, your presser foot won't go all the way down, you'll have that gap in between because you didn't set it with the feeders down. When you set this height up here using this screw and you set the alignment using this screw, the feeders have to be down. So you can adjust this all day trying to get a higher lift because everybody wants to get a higher lift so they can get more stuff underneath there. And sometimes you get underneath there and then the pressure will compress it and then it'll sew it. It's a good way to tear up your sewing machine because a lot of machines are set to the height that the machine is designed to sew. And you over ride the height, then you get into problems with trying to force the hand wheel and break an internal part. So it's your machine, do what you want to with it. Just be cautioned that when you start adjusting this to try to get a better height, you're better off, like I've had customers do this successfully, instead of worrying about raising and lowering it with the presser bar in the back, which once it gets to its height, that's as high as it's going to go. Whether you adjust this up or down or whatever here, when this gets to the top, that's as high as it's going to go. So adjusting this is not going to affect the lift. All it's going to do is affect how much it's not going to touch the fabric on the bottom. You'll lower it down and it won't touch the fabric because it's going to go up here. It's going to go up there. It's going to go down there, go down there. So when this is down and that's flush right here, that's as low as it'll go. And when you raise that up and it's making contact, that's as high as it'll go. You can adjust this, but it gets illogical. But what you want to make sure you do, have the feeders down when you lower it down. And a lot of times what people will do, I've had customers successfully do this, they'll take a threaded rod and take the presser foot screw out and use the threaded rod to hold their presser foot on. And they'll have a lifter on this. And what they're effectively doing is they're lifting this manually to get it underneath there. Because you can lift on that just forever i mean it'll go way up lordy mercy there's nothing under there you're going to sew not with this machine or any household machine but you get unlimited lift but when you lift this up over here it'll only go as high as the lever and the stop on the presser bar lever assembly 
So you can get extra lift by lifting it up and getting started. I don't recommend that because your machine won't be able to sew it, but you know best, it's your stuff. It may be something that's fluffy and you want to compress it. Lifting it up, it'll compress it and then you can sew it, but you're limited on your lift and going to this screw right here is usually going to end up with uh, you being less than happy with the results because your needle bar will get out of line with, or your presser bar will get out of line with your, with your needle and the lift will be off, the height will be off. So try to avoid monkeying with this. But if you have, put it back in line by loosening it, aligning it up so the needle's in the center and this is straight across the, uh, make sure the needle's in the center of the foot. There'll be a line there a lot of times on a zigzag or a straight stitch. Make sure it's in the center. Make sure it's lined up with the lines on the side. Make sure it's not kicked off to the side in any direction. Make sure when it swings on the zigzag, it doesn't hit. And uh, make sure that your feeders are down or else it's not going to work out. When you're done with all that lining it up, tighten it back down using the right screwdriver. Tighten it down real nice and tight. And you're back in business. All right? Thanks.